On occasion, I like to just let loose and talk a little bit about some of the comments I get on the channel. I'm not gonna call anybody out individually. I'm not gonna do any special shout outs here. No, instead, I'm just gonna kind of go over something that I've heard time and time again over the many years that I've been reviewing films on YouTube. I've gone over some of the classics in the past, but one that's recently cropped back up more and more lately, I suppose since I've been seeing more more films I've hated that people disagree with me on is, hey Adam, why don't you try directing a movie, you freaking expert? If you think you're so great, why don't you make the film? It's just so stupid. What kind of a response is that in a comment? If you like a movie I don't, that's great. You know what, that deserves a round of applause. Good job liking a movie, prick! Listen, I get it, I touched a nerve. You didn't like my review of something. That's why I don't even really watch movie reviews online. Because I don't really give a shit what anybody else has to say. I'm giving you my opinion. If you don't want to hear it, great. Don't watch. Hit the, hit the dislike button, for all I care. Or here's a crazy idea. Make a rebuttal in the comments. Give me some tangible evidence or reason as to why I'm wrong. Say for instance, I point out that the movie's too long and that the story goes all over the place. The person might come back and say, well, you know what, Adam, I actually beg to differ. I think the movie was the perfect length. It really, it really gave us time with the individual characters. It really fleshed out this story and this story, you know, it gave us all these different dynamics to work with. Uh, okay, that's great. I probably won't even respond to you. Or I might even like the comment. In fact, I've liked several comments in the past where people politely disagreed with me. It's, it's crazy, I know. You can have civil discussion. And I have to say this, please don't take me ranting right now as something that bothers me to the point of depression or like I'm gonna stop making videos. I find it funny and I find it pathetic. Like I've been doing, again, I've been doing this a long time Negative comments, it, that happens constantly, especially if it's like a polarizing review or something. And that's, that's cool. That's cool if you want to disagree. I just, I think it's so comical when your go-to argument is, you make a movie if you don't like it. If you're so good at the movie, you do better. That is so dumb. Okay, are you gonna fund the movie? Like, I don't even know who I talk to about this. Like, I just call up Warner Brothers. Beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, beep, beep. Yeah, uh, hi, WB, it's it's Adam. Uh, Olinger. Oh, yes, of course, from Adam Does Movies. Yeah, less than less than 60,000 subscribers or something. Of course you know who I am. Uh, listen, um, T-Balls69 says that, I assume T is for tiny balls, but he says I should direct a movie. And I'm just wondering if that's something that I would call you about and maybe get like a $200 million budget to, you know, make the film I'm, I'm disagreeing with better. Uh, oh. Fuck me? Okay, thanks. Don't call again? Cool. What do you want me to do? Do I have to go work for Hollywood for like six years and climb my way up the corporate ladder? Like I'll start out as a coffee boy and then work my way to the boom operator, maybe get behind the lens of the camera, then head on over to like color production, or maybe, you know, I, I don't, like what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Have you ever disliked a meal before and said, oh, this meal is not very good? Did the person across from you go, oh, if you don't like it, then why don't you go make it? Like, what a stupid thing to say. Have you ever been to an art gallery and you're like, I hate that painting. And the person next to you is like, you paint it. This is subjective entertainment. Sure, there's objective things that you can argue about, but for the most part, people have opinions. You're either going to agree or disagree. But to tell the person to do it better is so amazingly dumb. It's so tone deaf. I, I don't even know where to begin with it. A couple comments took it even further recently and started pointing out how not only uh, did the directors and writers put time into it, but it had a huge budget. It had a massive crew of thousands of people behind it working on this thing. And here I am, just some asshole shitting all over all that hard work. They got paid for a job. The job didn't work out for me. Guess what? They still made a successful film. Like, who gives a crap? Is that is that the litmus test now? Like, however much a movie costs and however many people are employed on it, that, that means we have to like it more? 
In that case, Transformers 5 is a 10 out of 10. Give it every award in the book. Give it everything. Fast and the Furious 9 is a cinematic darling. Vin Diesel, best actor. I mean, what the shit kind of logic is this? I truly don't understand why some people watch movie reviews or read them, unless they are really just looking to find a review that agrees 100% in line with their thoughts, which is just stupid. I mean, talk to your friends. I really don't even know why people like that are watching movie reviews. Like, you clearly are just looking to have someone agree with you. I mean, so I guess fine, if you stumbled on the video and, and you see a guy like me just shitting all over something, and it, it pisses you off, whatever, be, be mad about it. But I guess the advice for me would be, find the popular ones that really don't have anything too bad to say about a film, unless it's like wildly hated to begin with, and just follow them and no one else, and, and just kind of take comfort and solace in the fact that you're getting a very boring review most of the time, that's just gonna cover the same basic garbage over and over again. If you want something with a little bit more flavor, a little bit more spice behind it, and someone that's not afraid, or being paid, or you know, worried about losing some presser to the next movie release, who's gonna give you honest, hopefully a little bit funny reactions to films, then maybe you stick around a channel like this. Then maybe, when you disagree with me, you don't just run away right away and get pissed because I didn't like The Last Jedi or I thought Tomorrow War was kind of silly and dumb. Instead, you engage with me in the comments with some decent feedback and we can go from there because I'm never gonna kick you away from the, the channel for hating me for not liking something. I will, however, shake my head very aggressively, roll my eyes, 100% and say, you think I should direct the movie? Then you fund it, dumbass. Hope you like the rant. I do a lot of them here, so feel free to subscribe. I put out new content every week. Between my Adam Rants movie series and movie feuds, you should have plenty of content at your fingertips. You don't even need to watch them. That's the best part. You can pick and choose. I have a second channel, Adam Olinger, that's non-movie related stuff. I'm on TikTok at Adam Does Movies. I also have a second channel, Adam Olinger, where I cover non-movie related stuff. I'm on Twitch at Adam Olinger. I'm also at Patreon at Adam Does Movies. So we have this kind of back and forth between my real name and the Adam Does Movies moniker. It's, it's kind of crazy, really. It's wild stuff.